Greetings YouTube community. Weedlover555 here again for you to show you today how to use Foxtaps, a cool add-on, which I will show you first here in my add-ons, which is called here, blah blah blah, where is it? Foxtap. It's the version 1.4.4. Uh, the description says 3D man tab management, your top sites, tab flipping and recently closed tabs. And let's say for example you have a YouTube account and you want to set up your login your login to YouTube as a top site so you don't have to access this via your bookmarks or so. So you just open the site for example from your bookmarks like I did here I just go to bookmarks and then I go to links and then I YouTube broadcast yourself this is my bookmark and then I this login page appears sign up to YouTube blah 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 and I then right click with the mouse and then it says add to top sites and this is gonna I'm going to do this and then I'm going back here I'm closing, I'm opening a new tab and now I, as you can see, there are now two sites in my top sites already. This is a blog from my Forex company, uh, from my Forex broker. And this is my Google account, uh, uh, YouTube login page account. So I just click on here and bam, it appears. Pretty cool, pretty handy. The next thing I'm going to show you is a change in your about config so I'm just going to type in here about config and then I, this, I get this warning message and I just click OK and in my filter I type in prefetch network prefetch.net next is gleich false this is normally set to true and I set it to false and what does I'm going to show you pretty fast. I just type in here in my normal Google search, Google prefetch. And then I open the first page. And then I go to advanced tweaking. I scroll a bit down. To network prefetch. Network, here is it. Network prefetch next. This setting determines whether to use Firefox feature called link prefetching to anticipate and load up in advanced pages you might visit shortly. See the last page of this guide for more details. So I'm just going to click on this link and it's going to load up the page. <coughs> so this is the Mozilla add-on. What is link prefetching? Link prefetching is a browser mechanism which utilizes browser idle time to download or prefetch documents that the user might visit in the near future. A web page provides a set of prefetching hints to the browser and after the browser is finished loading the page, it begins silently prefetching specific documents and store them in its cache. When the user visits one of the prefetched documents, it can be served up quickly out of the browser's cache. So I'm just going to load in now the guide, the last page of this guide. Neat stuff and conclusion. Google Firefox prefetching. Google prefetch. A feature introduced by Google and used by Firefox is called Google prefetch. This is not the same as the application prefetching used by Windows. This feature tries to load up what Google believes is the most likely page you will want to view as a result of certain Google searches you initiate. It does this in the background without informing you. Not very good. We don't want this. You may notice your browser cache may have web elements from web from pages you haven't visited yet. This may be because of Google prefetch. A few websites may also use this prefetch feature to speed up loading of the next previous pages of an article, for example. It is not a bad feature and can speed up browsing, but if you wish to disable this feature in Firefox, go to about config, find the network 
prefetch next setting and set it to false. This will improve security but may slow down browsing, particularly in Google searches. Do we care about this? No. Do we want to improve security? Yes, this is our main cause and this is why we set this to false. So I already changed this and then you just close again your browser as usual and just restart it and it's done. So I hope you liked this video and see you next time. Until then, bye bye, your wheat lover 555.